Morning all, there is a strange phenomenon taking place right now on the <clears throat> Canucks message boards where Canucks fans are saying nice things about Jim Benning. Uh, so Alex Edler, two years, six million per, so a $12 million extension with the Vancouver Canucks. So he's not hitting free agency either. So again, if your team's looking to improve and you're going, hey, free agency might be the way to do that. The, uh, the pickings are getting pretty slim. So again, for guys like Myers and Gardner um, and and for some of these other players like Strowman, the asking price keeps going up because it's a matter of supply and demand. And the supply with defensemen right now isn't very high, but the amount of demand is going to be high. So uh, what I like about this is now the Canucks keep Edler because I, I kept looking at depth charts and thinking, okay, without Edler, this defense is awful. And it's, it's already a defense that needs some help, even with the addition of Quinn Hughes. Now, if if Benning was somehow on July 1st able to swing a home run and bring in uh, a Myers, and I'm not ruling out Myers staying with the Jets either, because that's definitely a possibility. But if he was able to bring in a Gardner on a contract that's not horrible, and that's really the key right now, because it feels like the salaries are going up again, and some of these, these contracts could be... Um, bad within a year or two so as long as the defense can be improved for reasonable cost i'm a big fan of that and uh i i don't think uh the canucks are going to be quiet in the off season and the debate's going to be whether that's a good thing or a bad thing because i know there's people who don't like the job benning does there are people like myself who used to complain a lot about benning i don't complain about him now like i used to but uh, i understand why there are people who still have um, reservations with benning but in this case, I think this signing was was kind of a no-brainer. And thank you to, to Edler for conceding and, and giving it a two-year contract, which apparently has a no-trade clause. Uh, but there won't be any expansion problems. That was the number one problem the Canucks had with it was um, they didn't want to end up having to protect him as a 35-year-old in an expansion draft and expose somebody younger who is far more difficult to replace and far more likely to be taken. So... Uh, Edler and, and the Canucks come to some kind of an agreement on this and he will be a Vancouver Canuck for the next two years and I'm, I'm happy about it. So there was a lot of talk over the last little while about it looks like this is going to go to a divorce and the team didn't get anything for him at the deadline and they should have traded him, yada, yada, yada. Now all that talk disappears. So there you go. That's that's how quickly things can change and um, thank you guys um, for, for all the support on the channel and all that stuff along the way. And let me know what you guys think about this signing uh, by the Canucks. Again, I think cap hits fine, length is perfect. Everything in this is just good, excellent. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you're just browsing your way through and just happened upon this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and come back and visit again.